by having internet around, one, oh, it changes the way we use even to entertain ourselves. And there is something, the social networking site has become something which is so popular. I've just quoted about a dozen of it over here. You've got about hundreds of it. If you imagine, today we've got at least two billion people connected to the internet, 4.5 billion people in the world having a mobile phone. So just imagine the power of communication this new space has created. Currently, we are working on what we call the tribe protection platform, okay, ensuring that we develop solutions that can really protect children online, because this is one of the major issues facing the world today. We have what we call the public infrastructure. This is also a technical regulatory mechanism with a view to ensuring that we can protect users when they are online. Um chosen to, uh, to limit myself to only two sites, l'express.mu and defimedia.info, for the very simple reason, because yeah. specific content that they put up on the web. We tend to be quite happy about the number of comments that we receive. Journalists, uh, opinion writers, do not reply back when a question has been set to them, when sometimes their opinion has been challenged we tend to reply only whenever there is something very fundamental at stake, but not as a, as a means to, to actually indulge into, into, into discussion. Why the new players won't be able to actually mainstream themselves? It's, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, they don't have an appropriate business model for their blogs. They, I know of, uh, of, uh, of only uh, one blog uh, Mauritius uh, one uh, island crisis, but his blog is is a uh, is like a full do. It's not about uh, channeling audiences. It's only about search engine optimization. It's only about the keywords. What you type in to land on that uh, website. So you have this way of doing things, which is which will not be able to get you to have uh, uh, an audience in Mauritius. So. Uh, is not the way to, to, uh, to proceed. What is citizen journalism? It is when the public plays an active role in the process of collecting, reporting, analyzing, and disseminating information. There is no guarantee that information which is coming from either the government or from the press is 100% independent, at least in the minds of some people. So there is an opportunity here to have a space for citizen journalism where normal people, like you and me, decide to start being journalists. And at, as a matter of fact, the largest citizen journalism artifact is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is something so enormous that I'm sure no one of us can really grasp the kind of information, the amount of information that is there. And every single line has been created by normal people like you and me. The only advantage, the only feature that makes it so good is that there is a mechanism where people can vet for the correctness of information. So this information, whatever you see on Wikipedia has been written by normal people, but only those things which are true and relevant remain after some time. And this is why it has become so good that normal paper encyclopedias don't exist anymore now, or they don't sell. Now, uh, as far as citizen journalism is concerned, the very first instance of a motion being involved is Agoravox, which was set up by Joël Veroni in 2005, and which has become a very well-known website in France, where people write articles, they submit articles, and the articles only appear on Agoravox if that article is vetted upon by people who have written more than four articles. There's, so there's a mechanism where only the best articles appear, and this website competes very favorably with what you'll find at as far as quality is concerned, with what exists in normal newspaper websites. What is interesting to point out with regard to online journalism is that it is a more democratic form of, of, of journalism. It's not top-down journalism. It's, a, it's, get, it's giving power back to the citizens, giving power back to the people. So it's about journalism being co-produced. It's not only about citizens. It's not only about journalists writing their piece. It's also about citizens interacting with them. 
So I think it's a very promising field where basically there are lots there are lots of opportunities to better inform and mobilize the public. Are all sources available on the net trustworthy? How do you filter crowdsource information over the net? And how do you make the most, as I've been said, how do you make the most so that you are able to engage with citizens, so that you have a conversation with them? And I think that uh, it's also interesting in that in Mauritius, I think it's a, it's a really burgeoning like new digital space, and it can be used for the common good. It's an increasing uh, sort of debate around whether citizen journalism is really journalism, because where journalists can go that extra mile, how can citizens actually do that that sort of uh, training and practice of you know of, of 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 developing the skills of journalism? I'm wondering whether because of the lack of access of technology to the people, I mean the common people, are we not in the presence uh, in, a, in a situation where we could be uh, creating a knowledge divide, which would not be uh, in favor of greater democratization? People will become journalists if one, they can gain access to information. Uh, we journalists uh, are left out at, at the doors sometimes. So when people who are trained, who've got uh, hundreds of phone numbers in their in their in their notebooks, don't get access to information and don't get to comment, to analyze and 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 and, uh, and explain what's going on, I believe that the the average citizen will be having here a huge constraint in order to to uh, to to do the job. It's also about uh, the skills. The skills, uh, you don't just uh, go out there and write about something as you want to write about it. Uh, there are a set of rules, there are ethical rules, there are uh, writing skills involved, and uh, I'm afraid that citizen journalists will have an audience only uh, when they have both information that can be found elsewhere, uh, comments that can be uh, read elsewhere, or an insight on specific subjects that can be reached uh, elsewhere. Everyone has a blog where we talk about, you know, our cats and dogs and whatever. And then there's citizen journalism like Agoba Box, where articles are submitted and then moderated and then vetted and then verified and then published. So we are talking about something else here.